Hey, what is up, guys? I know, I know, it's a lippy deck. Tia is so toxic, uh, I'm going to unsubscribe right now and never look back. Now, hear me out. The meta is so wobbly right now. It's all over the place. And in all honesty, I have never had as much trouble as I'm currently experiencing climbing back to pro. Normally that took me about a day or two. It's just, you know, quick games and you're back. But right now, I don't know what to expect. Everyone is playing new decks. They're playing all decks. They're experimenting with weird piles. And it seems that Lippy is the only thing that brings some consistency back into the game. Now you don't have to play this and this deck has been in circulation for some time though I have a lot of discard cards, I quite like those. But hey, if you're struggling as much as I am, maybe check this out and uh, give it a go if you'd like. Alright, so since this is my first Lippy deck guide on my channel, um, I'm going to walk you through it in case you've never played it before. So basically it's centered around Lippy Goodman. What he does is he swaps your graveyard with your deck. So after you've played all of your best cards and all of them are in the graveyard, you play Lippy in the range row and they all come back into your deck. At the same time, everything left in your deck goes right into your graveyard. So uh, don't mess it up. Now, uh, one of our nice little win conditions uh, involves Ceres. Now, what she does is we play her in the melee row normally and she'll spawn a drum and shield maiden. You then have to use your leader and ping it. Once you do that, it will draw all copies of it from your deck, which will be two. So altogether, you'll have Ceres and three shield maidens in your melee row. Now we use the Ursan ritual leader, of course. You have five charges and you can ping your own targets. But we might play against lockdown and that does happen. When that happens, you need to make sure you have something like Brockvar Hunter already on the board, ready to ping. Because the moment you play Ceres and you don't actually ping the Shield Maiden, uh, your opponent will normally just get rid of it and you won't be able to summon the units from your deck. So, once you get Ceres out, uh, you preferably want to use Lippy in the second or third round. So if Ceres is out in the first round, she's in the graveyard. The moment she comes back into the deck, you're going to be playing her again. And what's nice about her is, you're now going to have more Shield Maidens in your deck. And when you're playing Ceres a second time, you're going to be summoning a lot of shield maidens that weren't there. So uh, this is your win condition, use it wisely. All right, so a lot of these cards are merely for thinning purposes. Something like Roach, very necessary. Why is he not moving? That's odd, it keeps happening for some reason. So Roach comes out of your deck whenever you play a gold card. Then you, you have Nickers. Uh, this unit can raid the battlefield at any time. How he works is um, he ha has 10% more chance of coming onto the uh, board after every card you play. Uh, that's basically how he works. That's the algorithm for Nickers. So the more cards you play, the better the chance that Nickers will come out onto the board. All right. Then we have Morkvark. Now, the moment Morkvark enters your graveyard um, during the round, He's summoned to the melee row and given doomed. So you can discard him, but I tend to leave him in the deck. So when I play Lippy and Lippy moves everything to the graveyard, Morgvarg immediately comes back onto the board. All right. So if you have a bad hand in round one and you happen to have something like Snowdrop, she's ideal because she draws two cards and shuffles two cards back and you can choose which you want to shuffle back. Now, Every card you draw, um, she will boost herself by two. So you tend to play her first before you play your other cards, which will draw more cards. Now, remember, there's a key difference between Snowdrop and your other cards. She shuffles them back into your deck. Now, when it comes to Burner, she also draws two cards, but she will then discard two cards, depending on what you choose. Discard means it goes into your graveyard. So you don't want to discard your best cards. You want to discard cards that you don't care about. Now, if you do this, Snowdrop will obviously get 2 plus 2, which is 4 points. Um, so this is quite nice compared with Snowdrop. And uh, then you have a Heimei Skald. Now, he will also draw a card, and then you pick the card you want to discard. We have two of those. All right, so the cards you t uh, normally tend to discard will be something like the Tursik Skirmisher. So when this card is discarded, it's summoned from the graveyard to your melee row. 
So basically, if you discard this, it immediately goes onto your board and it's an extra four points. Always nice to have. All right. So we already talked about the Brock Bar Hunter. This has zeal, meaning the moment you play it, he will be able to ping something. You don't have to wait a turn. It damages the unit by one. And if you play a beast, uh, the cooldown is reduced by one. All right. So we also have the Longship. Very nice to play in the melee row. Uh, then you have Blue Boy Lugos. Now, this has to do with control. Very nice to have. So every time this takes damage, it damages a random unit on the enemy's side of the board by two. So Urson Ritual has five charges. We normally tend to use two on Ceres, one the first time, one the second time. Then you have three left, which you tend to use on Blue Boy Lugos when you see fit. <laughs> also, if you ever run out of charges, of course, you can just play Brock for a Hunter again. Okay, and then we have our location. So normally I tend to play the Bear Witcher. Now, the Bear Witcher, when you you reach Adrenaline 4, meaning you have only four cards left in hand, he will damage an enemy unit by three and damage himself as well. So uh, once the location is clicked, um, the order ability, he will heal adjacent units by three. So you put the Bear Witcher to his right or to his left, and we also have a, another bear witcher in hand so then you get six points back basically if you use the location uh, which is quite nice all right and then for some tool removal which is very necessary in this meta you have curse of corruption which will get rid of the highest units and you have heat wave which will banish a unit or artifact so again, um, this deck has treated me very well. Uh, use it with caution. You won't necessarily get any GGs, so don't expect them. And uh, I will now show you three games. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you have a great weekend. That's some inception uh, level of rigging, Lionheart. Feels great. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, Alright, so we get rid of Morkvarg and we get rid of the Twersic Skirmisher, I'd say. Oh no, not you, Nickers. Alright, um, we shall begin with... Well, the only thing we can really begin with would have to be Brockvar Hunter. It's not ideal seeing that he has zeal. Um... What book am I writing? Uh, let me quickly get that for you. <laughs> okay, he's considering uh, giving it a shield with his leader. If he does that, I just heat wave it. Well, actually, I don't need to. I just ping it with my hunter and then we get rid of it in some other way. He's very strongly considering it. And he decides not to. Good choice. Uh, so I can get rid of it with uh, Stunning Blow. Or I can go with Gutting Slash and keep Stunning Blow for something else. Um, in this scenario, I think I'm actually going to use Gutting Slash. As it's less powerful than Stunning Blow. 33. Uh, Evil Kane, actually you fall under the category. Um, not of young adult, but uh, the target audience. So young adult would mean that um, anything from 13 up, but uh, adults can read it as well. It's more mature than Harry Potter, if I can put it like that. Um, you are a young grandpa. <laughs> oh, that's how children see you, yeah. Anything above 20, actually. You're just, you're just a young granny or a young grandpa in their eyes. Okay. See now this is where my uh, stunning blow comes in handy because I can just do that and it's gone. Nick is finally coming out like the good boy he is. It's too mature for us though. <laughs> Harry Potter gets pretty dark man. You haven't read my book yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. But yeah, Harry Potter is an excellent series. It's honestly my favorite. I'm a big fan, if you don't know by now. Come on, give it a rest. 
Hey Rega Darek, how are you doing? Uh, this has to go back and honestly I go as far as putting this back as well. It's interesting seeing Shield Wall make a comeback. Someone definitely played it. Someone definitely played it. Um, I'm going to play this now. I don't feel like I have to commit it, but I'm going to anyway. What are you gonna do? Huh? Get the Thronebreaker guy for my Skellige deck. You don't like Geralt? I think Geralt looks uh, pretty fly. Alright, so obviously we bleed now. And uh, we don't make the mistake again of uh, playing Lippy too early. We won't do that again. I kind of want to keep this in my hand for now, just so uh, Berna has an actual target. Oof. I hate it when that happens. Um, okay, we'll start off with this. That's where Stunning Blow is going to have to come in. So we're probably going to use Blue Boy Lugo soon enough. Alright, alright. Oh no! <laughs> Stop, man! Why? Why you do this? Okay, uh, so this makes it very difficult to play uh, Ceres, but at least we have a Neuromancy. I mean, we could work around it. Okay. He's very keen on protecting this. I want to play Lippy without Cirrus, but is it worth it? Cirrus has to be played, otherwise round 3 value is gone, they need to be in Grave. Uh, I mean, there are other cards you could play, like um, that 12 point card that you have to self damage. Okay. Take a sip. How lucky do we get here? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's gonna have to do it. You like watching Gwent more than playing it. I mean, it's fun doing both for me. I'll often uh, take it some time off. And then I'll end up watching more than anything else. We're in a bit of an awkward position here as we don't actually have Lippy and we need to get rid of Ceres. I think I'm actually going to play Ceres now. We already threw one of them into the graveyard as well. Oof, not good. Um, okay, at least we're bleeding our opponent. That's something going for us. Why don't I have Arnagad? Um, not a lot of Lippy players have Arnagad. I think you see that more in the Warriors list. It's certainly something you could try. 
Do you think series skins will be available again? I stopped playing the game for five months when I was in the middle of series journey and I wonder. I think so, actually. Um, CDPR has a tendency of bringing things back, which is awesome. I, I think so, actually. Okay, now is the perfect time to pass. We're gonna have to get, you know, we're, we're going to lose a bit of value, but it's worth it. He just committed one of his cards and he catches up anyway within the next card, so yeah. I'd say that Gwen streamer with the biggest troll chat is Sir Pumpkin. Really? I feel Spyro's chat is very trollish <laughs> every time I go in there. Uh, but I haven't been in Sir Pumpkin's chat a lot because he normally streams late. And I tend to watch during the day when I'm working. Spyro plays more serious. Yes, I know, I know. Pumpkin feeds into it. Alright, okay, I get you. What a bad hand. Um, okay. My goodness. Okay, well, we obviously have to keep an Aeromancy here. Uh, we should still win, technically. Can't allow that, unfortunately. Um, have you, hey, Barnabas, have you spoken much to Spire before? You both live in SA. Um, not actually. Not actually. There's this Spire, this Miss Lady J, and then I recently heard of Elias V, who came from South Africa and moved to Canada, which was really cool uh, for me to find out. But um. No, I haven't. I haven't met any stream in real life yet either. Now, do we? Yeah, we play Lippy first. Chances are that Nika comes out then. A little bit more, that is. Uh, instead of playing Twitter sick now. There he is. All right. Again, this is a really, really bad card to have right now, but um, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I was thinking he'd have that, and then he likely has a uh, Varaxis King. Yeah, so we just don't give him any value. And uh, we should take it then. We should take it. Spire isn't from Greece. Spire is from South Africa. Yeah, there we are. Varaxis King. He plays Anzis again, gets rid of the four. And uh, we still take it. We still take it. So the bleed definitely was necessary. Uh, that's the last thing you want if you're ever playing Northern Rounds is being bled. GG. There is no other do I remember Lion King? Now, are you asking me if I remember the movie Lion King? Or are you asking Lion if he remembers King? And be specific in your answer. Uh, I almost feel like shuffling this away instead. Because at least this goes to the graveyard. Whereas uh, we don't want to accidentally um, put a shield made in there. Ah, okay. Okay, so this is definitely the Calculus list. And uh, although this is most definitely bait, we do have to get rid of it with Curse of Corruption. But uh, we don't have to yet. Uh, for now, I'm going to put up my engine first. Oh, the uh, brightness is a bit much again. Let me fix that. I think it's because my door is open in the background, but I'm alone, so it doesn't matter. What about Lippy with Vesemir and Witcher True, like early homecoming? A dangerous suggestion. 
But if he plays a taller unit, uh, I'm not bothered. Uh, it's much more dangerous to have um, another card. And I already know this deck, so the the three cards we need to watch out for is Suri, Kali, and the uh, Defender. Uh, Shark, Jeremy, Lou, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. And there is the good boy. I just got a message and it's just spam, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we really need to check after this game why Roach isn't moving. It's bothering me. Yeah, so far this is the exact same deck I'm running. And he definitely wants round control almost as much as we do. I think he meant, what if he plays a taller unit so you cannot destroy Suri anymore? Oh, okay, well, um... Oh, okay, I understand. You meant, what if he plays something like Eigen and I waited too long? Well, sure, that would have been a problem. Uh, that would definitely have been a problem. But honestly, uh, I've learned from my mistakes. And normally right now I, I would have heat waved actually, but we need to get Ceres out. So first I'm going to go with Burner. Let's see if we draw what we need by accident. No, we don't. Okay, well, we have to get rid of this as well as Morpharg. Um, IRZ, thanks for the follow. He has Osral, so it really helps if we get rid of this. Uh, we'll just do it manually for now. What is it? I don't want to risk anything. Great content on YouTube. Look forward for more since can't catch all the stream. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. I, I'm glad you like it. I really am. Okay, so that means he can't play this later, and... It also means that Kali is open. Kali is wide and open. So we can get rid of Kali with a simple heat wave, and that's game set and match. Uh, you know what? At this point, I am almost willing to commit to my heat wave. Almost. I think I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to play this instead. No need to rush. We play the bear which are next to it, target the six point card, and there we are. Luckily we're ahead on even, so we can actually bleed Kali out round two if we uh, manage to get the cards we want. Hey wise man. I don't run totem. No, I actually did. And we started losing games because I didn't have enough tall removal, like Karathi Heatwave and Curse of Corruption. So we added that and so far it's going very nicely. There we are. That's exactly what we want to see. Alright. Great stuff. So now we bleed him until he commits Kali. Or else we just go all in. But we're not going to be playing Lippy again in round 2 if Ceres isn't in the graveyard. That was a big mistake. And it lost us the game. Uh, honestly, very nice hand. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Okay, uh, that's it for me. Okay, so now before we accidentally brick our hand, we're going to start off with Oniromancy and we're going to be playing Sarah Smellero. Give it a ping. There we are. I just have Curse of Corruption for Kahir. Uh, not a lot of people play Kahir, but when they do, you definitely want to have uh, something that can deal with it.
There we are. All right. Well, that's game set and match. Now his last card will be Osrel, and we'll have lost say, so we won't allow it. Uh, for now, we're gonna go with Heimei. Okay, we'll get rid of this, just thinning the deck. Um, he might not be able to catch up, actually, but uh, we'll see. Oh, there we are. Okay, so he has nothing for round three now, but his beast is going to continue climbing. Nice. All right. That's what I wanted. Okay, perfect hand, and I think we pass now. Yeah, I think we're gonna pass now. There's nothing really left for him to get out. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass now. And that should be automatic win. <laughs> hey, Denpai. How are you doing? I haven't been playing in the recent two weeks. How does the meta look like? Uh, it's chaotic, to say the least. Uh, there's a reason we have resorted to playing Lippy. You're very good. I'm very glad to hear that, Denpai. Very glad you're doing better. Um, I see you guys have been playing For Honor. <laughs> it, it, it sounds very fun. We can't lose? No, we can't lose. There's no way, unless this guy has somehow managed to... Oh dear. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine. Okay. This little squirrel. So powerful, yet so cute. So that's our heatwave target, if we should have one. It depends what's going to give us more points. Um, let's see. So he took away Ceres, meaning we get... Why do we only have two? We only have two. So Heatwave is the better option. No, but he got rid of Ceres. Yeah. Oh, he heatwaved Ceres and then got rid of one of the Maidens. I see. Drain an enemy by the amount of boost it has. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, should not be a problem. What a weird card. There you go. That's where his provisions went. I told you. Drain an enemy by the amount of boost it has. Okay, well, that's not a problem. <laughs> uh, not yet. I want to make it an even number for a particular reason. What are you gonna do, huh? There we go. So now we can just blue boy Lugos it and not waste anything. Okay, okay, okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is really cool, but if you're playing such a Chad card, you should have it premiumed every time. All right, GG, GG. I mean, that could have been a very cool card if playing against the right opponents. Uh, what was your most memorable watch in a game you still remember? Uh, it was when I casted a Pajabal's game and I believe he was playing Keltulus and he started throwing away his cards so his opponent couldn't interact with his deck. It was so hilarious. No retreat. Not one I've never seen anyone do that until that moment where he started just discarding his whole deck and he still won. All 
Alright, so we get rid of Nickers and we're gonna have to get rid of the Shield Maiden. Alright, so Lippy versus Patricidal Fury. And our camera is going haywire again. Let's fix that. What is it? There we go, that's better. Um, Alright, so. We could play uninteractive to start with, so we'll go with Stunning Blow. <laughs> You're more than welcome, Fold Mode. You are more than welcome. I promise you a quick death. Another one. told you. Uninteractive. He doesn't have any cards right now. Ah, no. <laughs> Roach, why? Why have you betrayed me? What are you playing? Ah, cheers, you. Enjoy. I uh, hope your dad gets better. What are you playing? What are you doing? This is very suspicious. Whiskey bigger than brandy. Ooh, I struggle so much with whiskey. One of my friends bought it for me for my birthday. This big, expensive bottle of whiskey. I took like one sip and <laughs> it was like, I can't drink this. I can't. And I really, I really tried. I tried to give him, uh, you know, worth for his money, but um, <laughs> it was very difficult. Uh, now it's standing in our cupboard. I will, I will try it again at some point, I'm sure. No reprieve. Why are you playing Defender? Please tell me this isn't some weird lippy variation. Why on earth would you do that? I'm so... I'm so excited. <laughs> what, what's happening? What is happening? Okay, so we're gonna see Hemdal, yes? We're gonna see Hemdal. That has to be it, right? That has to be it. Wait, how many are damaged? I can't see. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Um, I almost feel like Bear Witcher isn't as much as Bear Witcher Mentor. Oh well. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus four. Yeah, that would have been quite a lot. Thirteen points. Ah. I'll cleave you in two. Whiskey depends on your taste as well. If you don't like the bitter, try Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Ah, you're going for Bear Trementer. Okay, okay. Well, honestly, I can pass here. Um, don't really have a choice, I'd say. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. Uh, we could go with Burna. Uh, Burna would be 6 plus 5, gives us 11 points. Uh... Plus 6 gives us 17 points, which puts us on 48. Um, you, the problem is this could go to... Yeah, this is going to go to the Miller row, which is a problem. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I 
Okay, um... Let's see. I mean, he's still playing. He desperately wants to have round control. So, a Bear Witcher would give us... Yeah, it would be 8 points. Which puts us on 46. Uh, can we catch up? No. But I really want to see what he does, in all honesty. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. Tarky, there's no other option, I swear to you. It's it's getting impossible. Okay, so we uh, preferably would like to lippy now. We have quite a few options. He might attempt to 2 0. Echo, alright, and your Mansi. Sigdrifa's right. This is such a weird deck. He's gonna get the defender back, yeah. What the hell is happening? Arnagad, you're planning on playing Arnagad. I see right through you, right through you. No Arnagad for you. <laughs> the body is stronger than your steel. Oh man, okay. Fortune has turned. No. <laughs> this is so random. Hey Ergenware, how are you doing? <laughs> Wait, is he rage quitting? No, come on, friend. You did so well. <laughs> oh, man. I think he rage cut. No. Come on. You still had a chance in round three. I don't even have Lippy in hand. Just lost by two points to a Skalliger leader ability that heals by nine. The Arahas ability needs to be nine, just like every other leader. Who rage quits with a disconnect? Oh, you'd be surprised. A lot of people do. I don't get it. But yeah, the idea is to anger your opponents by making them wait, which... I, I, I mean, I don't get angry. I see it as a success. But um, I've never done it. I Have I? Perhaps in close beta once. Just turn off the PS4. 